<laughs> G'day folks, welcome to Big BTV. Great to have you with us, Division 1 men and women. Hey. Well, what's wrong? Dinner's coming up soon. Oh, oh, oh Eddie had. Yeah. Well, tell us Eddie had, September 20. Drinks included. Drinks yeah. included? Yeah. What? Yeah. Softies or? Uh, oh, the hard, hard stuff. stuff, yeah. Oh, Jody, get, hey, Jody Yippie will be there, I'm telling <laughs> you. And Emma Coyne will be right yeah. behind her. Get your tickets before the end of July at the early bird price of one twenty. Yep. Do you get a worm? Get a with it? Do you get a worm? You get a worm as well. Okay, good. Early bird catches the worm. D1 women, let's move right on. on. Hawthorne went down to Werribee. Now, last week, you two were. Oh, Werribee's looking shaky. This is an event. You said last week, the old ducks. You're by you, start, no, are starting you to wobble. Like no, no, I did not. I said, you just stick with them. They're going to be fine. Bang, out they come. Hawthorne 69. With the We're scraping over the line. Yeah, they went against one of the worst the, teams in the league. Went, who, who cares? The second uh, one. Who won the game? You can and that's, that's pretty convincing. You can either win you or lose. That's it. You that's don't even have a draw. my attitude and you tell me I'm full. <laughs> See, look at you made me oh, do. Look at you made me do. Hey, you're yeah, a classic. You got suspended for doing that. I don't, I don't get to choose when to sneak. Hawthorne 69 <laughs> went down to Werribee 78. Um, and an unconvincing win. Lisa Troyan 23 and 12. <laughs> Jody Impey 11 11. Good effort, Joe's uh, double Let's double. Suck up. Nicole Swan 21 points, 4 trays. Mate, stop, stop looking at me. I hope you get a water. Jess melon. McKenzie 10 and 9. In so. the mail. Oh, get that. Oh, just watch. Hey? Yeah, right. Hey, Werribee are going to make the finals. Hey, do you admit that now? They're going to no. make the finals? No. Yes, oh, yeah, I do. Just just no, they, they will. My bad. Yeah, they will. Oh, so oh, I will. hope the old ducks shove it right up, you two. Cra this was the big result because Craigie Byrne are in the balance. They're on a tightrope wow. to try and make the finals. Not anymore. They fell off. Now, well, I tipped them to beat Sunbury and lose to Southern Penn. And they, I just could not believe this happened on Saturday night. Kelly Bailey wins 300th game. Yeah. And it's gone night. down by a point to summary. Take it's not really long. So, as we said, it was a big night for the Eagles celebrating not only um, Kelly Bailey's 300th game. Kelly Bailey Lynn. Kelly Bailey Lynn's 300th game. But congratulations to everyone at Craigie Burn. They could put on a great night for cancer awareness. Didn't so love that stuff. You yeah, that was really well good. Done. But on court, their finals chances have taken a massive hit. Um, Craigie Burn won. Jinx. Yeah. And Craigie Burn were up, and the Jets went on a 21 12 good. last quarter. And why did they do that? Because they won the rebound count 48 to 28. And who did they get the ball to? Emmy, 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 get the ball to Emmy. Emmy up here. 23 what? points, yeah. 15 boards, 3 blocks. And this is against one of the biggest teams in the league. Great effort. Yeah, she's what a, a monster. She's oh, a blue carpet. She's blue carpet. I don't feel close. Somebody don't realise how lucky they are. Did you take? Did you just look at the numbers, or do you just look at like the situation, the context, the opposition? Moving right along. I heard he picks his favourites. Have, have you heard of Callum Walsh, Cryo Bay? Yes. yes. League man? Yeah, he made the blue card. I know. Because up and about. he led his team to a win over the top Sally team. Sally Cook, 15 points. Thanks Ellen McQueen had 18 points and 5 steals. Nicole McMahon, 13 and 9. Uh, well done to somebody winning their second game. And, of the season. and this absolutely, and I've been saying it for weeks, at the board win, it man. just reps up where Craigie Burns at. I mean, that's a game. You just, if, you're, if you are headed for finals, you just do not lose that game. They're not heading for Yeah, oh, I agree. Whittlesea 53 put away the Dragons by six. Uh, tough clash between two teams that would have thought they're going to make finals preseason. They're going to just fall short, yeah. I think. Um, the way it's looking, the Dragons 11 of 23 from the charity strike. That's a lot. Of, left a lot of cheese on the table. They did. Left they a did. lot. A lot on there. Yeah, Emily Very 10 points was the only player yeah, the whole uh, game who reached double digits. Low That's horrible. Scrap. It's horrible. Uh, you, look, whenever you play Campbell, you know it's going to be a scrap. They yeah. play a really tight suffocating team. team. Yeah. You Defense know that that's going to happen. But yeah. I reckon the first thing you said here is very true about these two teams. Yeah, Both Whittlesey and Campbell would have gone into the season thinking, we're a big shot for yeah. the top. I think We're especially, I think especially Whittlesea. Yeah. Uh, well, I think the Pacers are kicking themselves because they've actually won five of their past six games now. So it's that awful start to yeah, the season. Yeah, they were terrible. Yeah, when well, now, you know, they're, they're the actually two one of the four, out. The two wins out. They're one of the four teams in the front yeah. at the moment, but I think they've left it too late. Southern Penn had a massive win against Geelong, and it just shows you, you're off your game for a second. Yeah. Things yeah. don't go well, you don't shoot well. Bang. Time is what we expected from the Sharks before the season starts. Absolutely. And little disclaimer. Yeah, little one. Yeah. Colin Morris didn't, didn't play. Oh, it's a big disclaimer. Oh, big disclaimer, big but disclaimer. they're pretty deep. But you can have a bit of the team that, that is on the floor. Listen and to great the job names to the Sharks. Listen to the names yeah. that did it for Grace the Sharks. Grace McRae, 16 and 9. Giles, top yeah. scorer was 10. Yeah, for the season. Georgia Cox, possibly 15 or 16 years Coxie. old. 
13 and 10. Nice, Geelong had 12 good. more shots, but shot at just 23%. Ooh. Sharks got up by five, obviously 55 to 50. Charmaine Ferguson, 21 for the Supercats. No other player, more than nine Hasn't points. Hasn't Geelong's offense gone through Charmaine Ferguson a lot in the last month? It has. Mm. Uh, and the, the one thing that, uh, I think Geelong are a big shot at the title. Oh, sure, yeah. But, yeah. but, the one thing that I just question them on at the moment is offense. Scory power. Just, their offense breaks down at times, yeah. Colin Morris would have helped that. Yeah, I um, yeah. Kiel or 68 put away. Hawthorne 51. Hawthorne played the knock for obviously Kiel or nice and fresh. Uh, Magic jumped out to a 22 to 15 lead, but then obviously ran out of legs. 53 to 29 yep. the rest of the way for Thunder. Jay Marie Sant, 12 oh, points. Yep. Ex Gator? Yes. Oh, young. Mm. Oh, yeah. Something like that. Yeah, young ish. And now with the Depends the definition of young. We're younger than young. me. Young. <laughs> Go on. Yes. Sure you are. Go on. <laughs> now it's up 11 points and Jen Cameron Ooh. 10 and 14 points. Yeah. Oh, you, oh, can I just say, Jen Cameron, great. Great game. Used to coach Jen. She's a you very, did. she's a very, very lovely uh, lady, and that's a good double, double. double Big double, double. coach by Justin yep. anymore. Sick of the haircut. <laughs> I heard. Move along, idiots. <laughs> and last game of the round, <sighs> Southern Ben. <laughs> 62 went down to Craigie Byrne 66. You look at the results of the night before. Well, you know, yeah, and you think no Sharks way. beat the top team, Craigie Byrne lose to the bottom team. Yeah, and, and this uh, is what is so frustrating this season about Craigie Byrne. Because mm. they got the talent. Oh, no question. They got the quite, talent. Quite capable. Look who came to the fore. Yep. Um, yeah, anyway. Eagles need to win their last two yep. to make it and hope Latrobe City and Mildura fall yeah, over. And not just fall over, fall flat on their Absolutely, face. Absolutely, yep. They won't. No, they won't. Not unless they go out drinking, but <laughs> oh, no, I think they'll be fine. Tanil Can, 21 points. Ellie McLean, 17. Big guns fired. Yep. Um, Danny Pierce, 17 and 8. Jamie Lee Pierce, 17 and 7. Ella Hellesey, 12 points for the Sharks. Ladder. Oh, I still. That loss from Craig Burn to Sunbury is just. Oh, it's, 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 it's burnt. Yeah. Burnt. Oh, big time. <clears throat> Sorry, Geelong, 13 and 3. Werribee, 11 and 5. Both safe. Yeah, Mildura 11 and 6. Safe. Latrobe City 10 and 6. Safe. That's the top four outside of that. You've got Craigie Burn 10 and 8. Whittlesey are 8 and 8. They've played a couple of less games. Keeler 8 and 9. Southern Penn 7 and 10. Camberwell 6 and 10. Hawthorne 5 and 12. Sunbury winning their second game of the season. Good on your Jets. 2 and 14. Yep, and definitely upsetting Craigie Burn season in the process. Yeah. To wrap it. Yep. Uh, round 16. Yes, so. Yes. Third last round, Sunbury Geelong. The giant killers. Hey, Jets were great last week. Good on you. <laughs> but I've got to say, uh, Geelong are going to be yeah, steamy. Geelong will get yeah, up in this one. the Supercats. Hawthorne, La Trobe City. Hey, La Trobe City. La Trobe City. Ninja had a week off. La Trobe City, no problems whatsoever. Hey, by the way. Oh, no. Nah. No, you, do you know what I'm going to say? Yeah. Did you see that video that La Trobe City Energy Girls did? Yeah, it was together? sensational. Great job. It was very good. Uh, well, well done, done Energy. Did you like it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, come on. That was very I, humorous. You I really love that stuff. Two out of three people. That's great. It is, yeah. It's all about promotion. I really don't like the song. It oh, kills me. But anyway, <laughs> hey, don't worry about Callum because he hates Drogon and Gippsland yeah. and everything oh, that's right. Don't the muddy my name in it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I thought they did a terrific they job. Did. And that's well, exactly the Absolutely. This promote, promote, promote. We love that sort of stuff. And 19th of July. They've got a very big night down at Tarogan. They're taking on Sunbury. Not this week, next week. We're going to be talking about it on next week's show. Very big night against Sunbury. They're celebrating Indigenous. Yes. Week round, yep. all that Huge sort of stuff. Yeah, Yeah, Tanali Hood will be leading the way. Leader program. Yep. Well awesome. done to the energy. Looking forward to that. And I've heard a little bit of a whisper. Nathan and I may be heading down there. That's what I've heard. I've heard that I, Nathan I, I can't and I may because be I'm playing down there. But you guys might oh, And if you weren't playing, you definitely would of have been. Of course I would have. I thought I had a date with the PlayStation that night. Oh, I've got a Ooh. feeling that you and I might be heading down there. And you know what? We might even film a very special episode of Big B T V. I am up. so excited. Hey, there's a lot of great places in the valley. Yeah, I know, that's what I mean. I get to see where Justin did his bakery apprenticeship. Can you just, can we, can you take us there? Can you take us there? Shut up. Can you take us out the front like this is where it all began? I'll tell you what, we, we could we, we could cause a little bit of mayhem down here. I'll we tell you what, we could keep spending time on this, but we've got to move hey, on. Hey, Tarot is a great place to spend time on. It is. I've also got a time limit, all right? And we know what happens. Oh, right. Hey, if we do go down You there. get docked all your pay. <laughs> oh, back to zero. All of it. Hey, if we do go down there, it's going to be a big work. I'm yeah. looking forward to it. Yeah, it should be good. Oh, I'm ready to go. Are you going to go? I'm ready to go. Yes. Oh, I'll be there. Don't worry. Go on, take us through. Thank you. Go. Mildura, Craigie Burn. Craigie Burn season is on the line. Mildura it's it's over. are in a white hot form. Mildura Enjoyed a week win. off and they will be. Vanessa Power is probably going to drop another 60. Uh, uh, Craigie Burn, I know it's an old joke. Boxing one on Vanessa, four on Vanessa, one on everyone I else. I wouldn't. 
Oh, you can have to. Not against them. Yeah, good luck with Serena Simmons. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Del 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 uh, and young Jasmine Simmons is playing in the under-16 nationals at the moment. Yes. Great young kid. Yep. Doing very, very well. Werribee would see. I think Werribee win that because yep. I rate them. Good. Sunday, uh, Kemble. Oh, well, you're going Werribee. No, no. You're going Whittlesey. Are you kidding me? Oh, well, they've won five out of their last six. Just because I didn't ask you doesn't mean you need to, you know, show me. Are you going Whittlesey, eh? Don't yes. waste it. Nah, that's ridiculous. Come on, Campbell. Campbell Keelor. He said that with such conviction. <laughs> I'm, I'm in shock. Yeah, don't worry about it. He's been an idiot. Campbell Keelor. Keelor. Uh, last time they played, Campbell won by 17, 62 to 45. I Campbell to win at home. Yeah, they will That's suffocate Keel. Suffocate. They, Campbellwell will do a Brian Lake on Keel. They'll suffocate them. <laughs> I think Campbellwell will win. I'm sure you're allowed to say that he might get suspended. For that. But anyway, Latrobe we'll City Southern Pen. Oh, I think it's the, a good game. Yeah. It's the homecoming for the Pierce. It's the Jamie Lee Allen. It's the, it's the Jamie Lee Pierce Cup. Energy. I think the energy win at home. Been good. JLP. We got to keep going. JLP. Yeah. Have fun up against Guys, Division uh, One men. Have fun against Paul Tuck. I was going to say. Oh, tip. Who's going to win? We're going to win. We'll be doing tips across uh, all the divisions and we've got to tip the title. Go. Who's going to win? Go. Supercats. Who you got? I've said you long all year and I know I'm not allowed to sit on the fence, but I'll tell you what, I'm really liking Mildura right now. I'm really liking Mildura. Is that your pick or are you just dancing around? You're going for July. I'll tell you why, because all it would take is for one of Simmons or. Um, power to have an off game, and I think Geelong's definitely covered. Within a whisker of tipping the heat, but I've said Geelong all year, so I'm going to stick with Geelong. Stick with Daz and the girls. Yeah, I'm going to stick. I'm with actually, Geelong. I'm actually inclined to agree. I think Mildura are in good nick, and they're looking Great very nick. dangerous. I'm going to stick with Geelong as well. Yeah, just it's a whisker. Division one men. Summary seventy four defeated Warrenby. 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 <laughs> they're about to change their name. They've had a few Maybe losses this season. Um, anyway. Summary seventy four defeated Warrenby seventy. Summary kept their finals. Yeah. Summary kept their finals chances oh. alive. They had to win. Um, Summary were led by both of the Mitchell brothers, who both hit uh, three Price, triples Price. each. Uh, Ken Bruce was really strong for Sunbury as well. For Warrandyte, the only player in double figures was Jonathan Johnny. Murphy. Yep. From all accounts, so he probably could have had a few more points, even more than he did. Um, Big job. Yeah, but it's what you would expect. Sunbury needed Sunbury that, but it was, it was a good game. They got it done. Got it done. Warnable needed to bounce back, and they, and they did. did. in a big way. Big offensive output. 97 yep. beating Altona, 75 at the Gators place. Yep. Um, I'll say too far back to make finals gone. now. They made, gone. had a bit of a run of it a few weeks gone. ago, but I've gone now. Uh, Seahawks ensure the win with a 55-38 second half. Lead by Swift. Tim oh, Gainey. Look at this line. Oh. 34 points, 16 boards, five assists, seven trades. Made the blue cup. Vintage. Hasn't he been let off the leash not having to worry uh, about the responsibility of coaching? This well. is what he's going for. Just yeah. great. Yeah. Uh, Lucas uh, Killy, Luke Killy, 20 points. James Mitchell, 18. New Joe Missoula, 15, uh, 15 for Altair. Love that Warner will have some of those younger Looking good. Doing really really good. Yeah, looks good. Yeah, yeah. Really good. Uh, Craigie Burns, 68, went down to Southern Peninsula, 79. Sharks had to work hard to get the uh, win. They went 11 of 12 from the foul line in the last quarter, the Sharks. Fantastic. So they Got iced the it really well. Which is good. Max Allen, 23.7 rebounds for assists. Ricky Dehan had 15 points. Kane McNamara, 18 for Craigie Burns. Now, Key Walsh Shields, I've got a story about Key Walsh Shields. Is he uh, that tall guy? It's 7 for 4. 14 points, 7 rebounds, and 3 blocks. Now, last Sunday, I was at uh, MSAC involved in a, a big function there for the kids. It was yes. the fourth annual Mac Pack Mac Basketball Pack, yes. Super Clinic. Yep. McDonald's yep. great supporters of basketball. Andrew, support us basketball. Andrew Bogut was there. Yep. And um, uh, talking to Andrew Bogut in front of all the kids there, and seven foot tall. And I said, Has anyone ever seen a player taller than that? This little girl, tiny little girl, put her hand up. Oh, and I'm thinking, Oh, this will be fun. Who have you seen taller than Andrew Bogut? She seven did foot? It. She said, Keywall Shields. Hey! Out of Craigie Burns. Nice. That he was so good. good. Oh, yeah. oh, she was a player who was offended. <laughs> no, he should have been. <laughs> you oh. say, Keywall who? <laughs> <laughs> I think you might have Keywall's game covered slightly. A little bit, but uh, good to get some publicity. Fantastic. Yeah. Melton, 102, uh, put away Keywall yeah, pretty nasty. easily. 69, 37 to 13, first quarter, pretty much done. Broke their back from there. Uh, Anthony Kimball, 23 and 8. He's been very good this year. Yes. Very consistent. Yep. Uh, Cam McCallum, 18 and 10. He's a great player too. 
Heath Hay, 19 for Campbell, Jules Fields, 15. Can I just say this about Melton, in all seriousness? I think that there's a lot of people, myself included, mm -hmm. I think there's a lot of people who sit back and go, I love them. surely they're going to fall over at some yeah. stage. No. And they haven't I done don't, it. No, I don't think there's, they have to fall over at all. No, I no, no, I, I think that there's probably this Across the belief the season, that they're going, yeah. oh yeah, Melton are doing good, but you know what? No, they've They'll fall up. over. They've, they've done a great, great job. job. They're more than capable of this. Yeah, I agree. And they've proven themselves time and time again. get one of the best crowds week in week out yep. across the league they're still supporting Brett well Life so uh, Brett Life yeah. it, it, it worked Brett cool. hashtag Brett Life right actually yeah. I can't do that last time we did that didn't they start nothing six last year yeah no they did <laughs> but they're headed for finals this year that's all that matters uh, let's go to Chelsea who were missing yeah, a couple of players they were uh, might have been a wedding on um, 71 went down to Latrobe City 75 didn't have Corey Standerfer didn't have Darren Best. So that's a good effort for any Good goals. effort. Yeah. That's pretty good for Tom Burns' 300th yeah. game. Huge. Yeah, so, Fantastic effort. So, Crazy Thompson was outstanding. Do you, a little bit of punish, do you have a team rule there that says if you didn't play last week, you start on the bench next no. week? Or? And look, what's just, just while we're at it, no, um, no, straight in. No. While we're at it, Chelsea had their annual night. Um, was it the Alina Madeline Foundation? In, in Tarawi? Sorry? Well, we always played at Chelsea, mate. Oh, sorry, Chelsea? I thought no, you no, no. said, uh, yeah. That's what it is, isn't it? The uh, Purple Night? That's right, Chelsea. sorry, yeah. yes. What was that last week? Yes. Oh, well done. Yeah, they, the they raised over so. $1,500 through the door, which is sensational. Yeah, good. And some like, of these big and, and you know what they did? Yeah. They did things like they were selling purple jelly in the canteen and they got all the crowd wearing purple. And it's good. You know, Chelsea are another club that are really community oriented and a fantastic job to everyone at the Gullies. You know what, we, every week, you know, our clubs go head to head. They go into battle. Mm -hmm. yep. It's all about wins and losses. But it's stuff like that, the work that gets done off the it's floor, special, all the volunteers, yeah. all the supporters, putting in their, you know, $1 yeah. coins, $2 coins, $10 notes, whatever it is, raising money mm -hmm. for some fantastic worthy That's what courses. community is, mate. Well and done. What I love, often it's these clubs that are run by volunteers as well, that yeah. are still doing... No paid stuff. Oh, no paid stuff. Yeah, 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 that are, that are absolutely putting their hand up and doing an outstanding yeah. job. And Great work. under all of the clubs, you know, right across the league that have done um, good like things it. for the community this year. Back on the floor, Ashton Pitts had 19, Canavan had 14 in there, and Fraser Thompson, 21 and 9 for the girls. Hey, the thing that I'm a little bit uh, scared for the rest of the competition with, with Latrobe City. It's Jordan Canavan is due for some big games. Yes. He's due for a run of big games. And when they come, look out. Latrobe City are still absolute title chances. Absolutely. Oh, big time. Blackman 72 went down to Mildura. One of the three of us six. Sip this, by the way. Did you? One of us did. What do you mean? Well, I went Mildura. You went Blackburn. Yeah, I did. Did I, I think you went black. I just thought with Erskine and um, is it Mayer out as well. Yep. But Such a big win. Full credit to Mildred. This is a huge win in the context of their season. Yep. Calvin Henry's pretty good. Um, 30 <laughs> points, 8 boards. Reggie Fuller, 22 and 9. Um, what's this? Who's that? Who's that Joe? Just who played Jumping Joe Hurst? Jumping Joe Hurst? Oh, seen the starts. Not a boy. Oh, I reckon Jumping yeah. Joe Hurst might have been in town. On the road? I reckon he might have been alright. He on brought his pillow with him so he could sleep on the way home. Yeah. Fantastic. And he put the boys to shame on the plum run halfway home too, from all reports. <laughs> so, Latrobe City backed it up on Sunday, 90 to beating oh, Melbourne University, slap, slap 47, Melbourne. 50 to 19 first half. Jack White, who is an absolute gun of a kid. Yes. He's yes. a gun. He stepped out at 22 and 9. Not a bad effort. Ashton Pitts, 19 and 9. Vashon Weaver. Very good player for him. Oh, 17 points. Yeah. He just keeps turning it off. Perfect. Jeremiah Amoa had 12 points for Melbourne Uni. Nothing. Just the season for the Black Angels. Nothing to see. World of hurt. Uh, uh, Terrell Lada, please. Yeah, Terrell Lada, Geelong 12 and 4, Warnable 11 and 4, Melton 9 and 7, Mildura rounding out the 4 and 8 and 8, right behind them, Asumbria 7 and 8, Altona 6 and 9, Craigieburn are 1 and 15. It's that battle between Mildura and Sunbury, I think. If Mildura win this week, both teams have their home. Homes. Their home, but I'm telling you now, Sunbury have an unbelievably tough weekend. If they can split it or even get two, they're in great shape. That, that won't. Okay. okay. Uh, on the Watson Commons level, Trove City, they've won their last seven and they're up to 14 and 3. Southern Penn are 13 and 3. Chelsea 10 and 6. Blackburn are uh, from running out the top four, 9 and 6. Behind that, that's a long way off. Camberwell 4 and 11. Yeah. Melbourne Uni 3 and 12. <laughs> Warrandai 3 and 14. Round 16, Saturday game. Sunbury at home to Warrandai. Bang. Bull. Bang. Bull. You've got to go to see. Like, listen to you guys now. Yeah, we're on. We've been on them. Three or four weeks ago, you're like, oh, oh, I don't know. I spoke to Bobby Cunningham last week. All right. Here we go. Hey. 
he's dirty on you two because yeah. you have not rated them the whole season. I just and I, nah, I tell you now, be careful what you're about to say here because he had some really choice words for you. I bet he did. So go on, speak. Let's well, see what uh, comes look, I think now. they could win the whole thing. Oh, I don't think you should oh. ever go here again. I think they can. I think they can win the whole thing. <laughs> the best mates, aren't they? Oh, Melton and Geelong. Cracking game. Oh. The Anthony Kimball Cup. It is the Kimball Cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Geelong will win on the road. Don't, hey, Geelong. I'm not. Fit. I'm going Melton. Cal's all of a sudden hopped on the thoroughbred oh, bandwagon, haven't you? I love him. Oh, love him. I'm going Geelong. And I think they're going to get it. Love's a pretty powerful word. Love, like real love. Alright. Melton crush. No Power worries. of love. Red and white crush. Hashtag that. The next game to me is an absolute revenge. Yeah, Mildura and Chelsea at the hot house. Alright, who are you going for? It's got to go packed, isn't it? Girls. Girls could cope with that. They'll be right. Chelsea might find the tip, but I think I'm doing more wrong. If in doubt. No, I'm going Chelsea. If in doubt. Pick the, pick the team with Corey Stando for a minute. I think Mildura get it. If in doubt. And you know what? You know what? So I think Mildura's going to get it. better than um, yeah. Henry? Ooh, Ooh, they're both different. very good players. Is Stando better than four? Well, uh, can, I just want to say something here. Yes, he is. The reason why I'm going with Mildura is everyone talks about Kelvin Henry. Yeah. Have a look at Reggie Fuller's numbers in his last oh, five or six games. Been been last five or six games. Oh, no. That's what's <laughs> drawing it up. Yeah, yeah, it up. I agree. I'm yeah. going to go with Mildura in a very tight contest. I'll turn to Melbourne Uni. So I'll I think I'll turn to get that. Melbourne Sun- Uni's just shot the business. Sunday, Craigie Burn, I'll turn up. I'll so two wins for the Gators. Yeah, I'm going to go Craigie Burn to win in an upset at okay. home. In yeah. an upset. No, that's fair enough. Okay. I almost did that. Yeah. Kenwell, Southern Penn. I think Southern Penn get yes. that. Three, Latrobe City, Sunbury. Sunbury. Uh, I think Sunbury season finishes this weekend. Latrobe City. Latrobe City. Black Burn, Melbourne, yeah. I think Vikings think will play themselves into some form. I think Black We're Burn done. will definitely win that game. one's done. Now, title, title. We've seen every team. We know no. what's going on. This is no this one, of the, this this one is of the hardest one. one. No, this is the hardest one in the league. And even as a final setup, it's tough because it is cutthroat. Yep. The so first two weeks best. are bang, bang. We lose four out of eight teams in week one. Can I pick four teams? No, you can't sit on the fence. You've got to, to, I, there's no, four no, teams. you have to pick a team. Well, you I'm pick picking one. I am. Who is Go on, go. go. Chelsea. That's mine. Oh, well, it's not You just contest. said you couldn't pick. Did I not tip Chelsea hey, to start? Hey, hey. It doesn't mean you tipped them. We're now. not doing this. There's people watching this at the moment. You two going three blocks at each other after the show. Chelsea, who are you going <laughs> Chelsea, for? Yeah. The Trope City for me. But a copy. I think the Trope City. They're my second. I think. Uh, who cares? You're allowed to pick one. John no, could, could win. Melton could win. Majura could win. Get it. Wait, 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 wait. Cass, he's not tipping Warnable. No, I tip Latrobe City. You've been on the Warnable bandwagon. Don't you rate him? Uh, you don't, don't rate him. I rate Warnable, but you I rate You should have heard Latrobe. what he said about Bobby's coaching off air. I rate <laughs> <laughs> it. Fair dinkum. Latrobe City to win, and I think Warnable, uh, a very good team, but, mate, get on the energy. We're going to be down there next week. I'm telling you. I'm not going to see Carlson. <laughs> <laughs> see you next week on Big V TV.